Yo, what is going on today, guys? It is Sam, better known as Samito, and today we're coming at you with Life Weaver. Kind of like my first reactions of the kit. I've, I've looked at it a little bit, I played it a little bit, and I'm gonna bring up the pros and cons of this character, talk a little bit about what his play style is gonna be, be in my opinion, and uh, talk about some things I think the devs will have to change with the hero. But to start, let's talk about his healing, right? Uh, you can only heal up to 65 health a second with this, right? Um, but you can heal from really far away. So generally when playing this hero, I think you're like better off playing an off angle in the back where I will talk about his life grip in a minute. But you want to be out of out of the damage range. You want to be hard to kill. Play kind of like a Zenyatta because all you have to survive is this little shift ability that will also start your regen. But you won't be able to frontline on this character. And I think that's a mistake a lot of people are going to make. You want to utilize his ranged options that are really easy to heal with. And just kind of poke heals at your team from range, right? And now, again, the lock is... I wonder if that's adjustable. But you can see it's homing in, right? I'm looking over here. Not aimed at him. And it just goes straight at him, right? So you do not need to have aim to heal as this character at all. And I think the healing numbers are appropriate for that. But the range is going to be what makes it so good. So that's his primary healing. His secondary fire, which I think they need to change this, to be honest with you. This is, this is one of the problems I'm going to have with, with Light Weaver, potentially, is... They kind of made him like Mercy, in which the only way you can do damage is by literally hitting a weapon swap key. So it's not your right click, right? Your right click is for your teleporter, or your sorry, your pedal platform ability, which we'll talk about momentarily. But again, in order to actually do damage, you have to literally weapon swap. And that, that doesn't feel very fluid, and I, I keep trying to right click to actually shoot. But that's his damage up close. It's actually not terrible, but it's not really good either. It doesn't have any damage fall off. It just has a crazy spread, right? Which means like if somebody's like playing from range, a little bit better than I thought. No, that, that's about what I expected to be. That was just a perfect lineup where, like, the bot just has a big hitbox, right? So, like, against tanks like Roadhog from range, I actually don't think this hero is going to be that bad. Like, if you need to do damage at any point, you can just sit back and imagine that's a Roadhog. And actually, we can swap this to a Roadhog here. So, the damage is pretty good. Um, but it's hard to swap to, and I really hope they consider maybe putting that on, like... Secondary fire, kind of like a Moira, but let's see how much damage we can do to this Roadhog here. Um, eh, you know what? Not not a whole lot. Well, that's actually decent. That's decent. If, if, if they have don't a big hitbox, it could be pretty good. So, yeah. Either way, let's move on to ability two, which is pedal platform. Like I said on the previous one, though, I would like to see the devs potentially maybe rebind some of those keys to make the hero feel more fluid. I think average players are going to struggle with that quite a bit. But the pedal platform allows you to put down, like, basically a jump pad. And it gets triggered by enemies or allies. And it will stay here forever until someone steps on it. It is breakable, has 400 HP. But if you step on it, as you can see, it's going to elevate you to high ground. And then it just stays there until you choose to break it or use another one. The good news about it is, while this is active, your cooldown is still resetting. So you're going to be able to use these pretty consistently. You can use it to heal targets that are on high ground, kind of like this, say, in the back. I, I do not think this is a character that you play aggressive with. You must play passive with this hero. So, that's the pedal platform. It's pretty interesting. And here comes my biggest problem with the hero as of right now. But after thinking about it, I actually think it might be okay. The, gri the life pull. Life grip, right? This is going to be used to troll and ranked. And I think they need to make it so the player who's getting pulled can actually interact with the ability. But take a look at this. You can go all the way over here. I think it's like within 20 meters and just... Safety in numbers. Pull your teammates out of any bad situation, which is why you're going to want to play this character very far back on these big angles because you want your teammates to catch a dive for you, right? And then you can just pull them right out while healing them from range. This is not a hero you play aggressively. And actually, this, these numbers are kind of crazy. So, like, say this guy's in a bad spot. No, you're not. You're right here with me. And the problem is, I think people are going to troll with that. And the player you're pulling cannot interact. They can't accept it. They can't deny it. And if it's an enemy, like a hog hook, you can shoot the hog, break line of sight of the hook, but you can't interact with your teammates. So there's going to be a lot of team griefing going on with this ability, and I think the fix for that is to just make it so that the player getting pulled has to use their interact key to actually accept it, right? So there actually has to be some kind of communication or something of the sort. I, I don't see that ability going well in rank for your average player at all, and I'm sure the people at home can kind of understand that too. It's just, I, I think they need to change it a little bit. Um, and that just leaves after that his shift, right? Which I will show you in a minute, which is, again, going to heal you a little bit. So you take just a little bit of damage. All right, let's see. We get down to 50 health. And I use my shift 
and I regen just a little bit, and it's procs my support passive, right? So you don't have great mobility. Your mobility is pretty much like a zen, aside from your jump pad, which I still think will be pretty easy to kill you on. Uh, maybe if somebody dies, you can put a pad on the ground, go up, and then use your shift somewhere. Um, to live, but I wouldn't bank on doing that. So, like, I would rather be saving these cooldowns, starting back, numbers. using your life pool to start saving your teammates. But as you can see, the healing isn't that strong, right? And when you're healing, you have no option to do damage. So, uh, is this hero going to be super OP? I'm not really sure, but that leaves us with his ultimate, which I actually think is pretty cool and good. You get to build this tree. Um, tree of life and take a gander. Look life at this. Protects life. It heals a, a ton. So if your team, this is what I wanted Inspire to be like as an ability, right? If your team plays in this tree, they're going to get tons of burst healing, which Better means right. it could be good in a Kitsune or other things like that, but it only has a thousand HP. So the enemy take team care. can break it. And I think if they bap window and put a bastion on it, like you have to be careful with your placement, right? So I, I think playing this character, he's going to rely heavily on corners, going up to high grounds. Dodging damage. Oh, I jumped off of that. Wait a second. I didn't know you could do that. Let's take a look at this here in a second. I got an extra little bit of boost by jumping when on that. I didn't think that was going to work. How did I do that before? Huh. I think it's stacked velocities. We'll look to try that again, but... Again, he's not a super aggressive character. You need to play passive. I think the important thing with the tree is going to be to actually angle it in good spots and like play high grounds like this. Use your jump pad to get up high. Let's see. Yeah, I got an extra boost by jumping on that. Okay, interesting. So, new uh, noted tech. If you jump as it's going up, you get kind of like a jump pad boost. So, let's see. He's going to break. Okay, but I didn't get it there. You have to time it right by the looks of it. So, yeah. Look. This hero has a lot of utility, man. There's going to be good things about it and bad things. But if I'm Blizzard, I really am looking at this life pool. This is my biggest concern. Like, I... I don't trust the people in rank to use that right, and if I don't want to get pulled out of the fight like I'm about to kill a target, I should have the ability as a player to deny that request, right? Then also is shift. Again, you play pass with it, and the world tree, I think is best being put on corners like this, life right? So life. say their damage is over there, your teammates can get, it's like, like think of it like a bigger immortality field. Like you don't want to just put it like right down mid, um, if they have a comp that can break, like if they have a super high DPS output comp, like a Bastion window or something like that with a Baptiste, uh, I wouldn't look at like where the meta is right now. I wouldn't really be looking to use it. And again, I think you can actually use this flower to displace enemies. So he'll have an interesting play style. That, that's a little bit short. Let's see. Check this out. Ready? So if an enemy's trying to push into a choke with you. Nope. No, you don't. It'll push them up to the high ground, and then they won't be able to do anything. So let's pull this guy out. Numbers. Kind of functions similarly to a road hook, and then you have to swap back and forth between damage and heals, which can be a little bit annoying. But honestly, like, I think he's going to be a decent hero. I don't think he's going to be super OP. Um, I don't think he has enough power on the kit to be crazy. So, I mean, that's the pros and cons for Life Weaver, in my opinion. Do you agree or do you disagree with what I've said here? Um, definitely a lot of potential on the character. Going to be excited to learn him as fast as I can. And uh, I will be seeing you guys next time. Let me know down in the comments. Peace out.